a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us again in this tutorial. And we are going to be learning how to use harvest time time tracking. Harvest time time tracking helps you to track time across projects. And you can also integrate it with other softwares. For instance, if you come to getharvest.com, and that link is in the description of this video. And then you come down here, you notice that you can integrate harvest time tracking with Asana, Trello, Basecamp, QuickBooks, Slack, Stripe, and so many other integrations, including Google Calendar. So you can integrate all that and you're able to track your time. In terms of prices, you simply click on prices at the top here. And you notice we have the free plan, which gives you one seat and two projects and uh, no credit card required. And you can use this free forever, no trial version. And then you can do the pro version that has unlimited seat per month at $10, at $10.8 per month. So to start using Harvest, you simply come to getharvest.com and then you click at the top here, try Harvest for free. So you click on that, then you put your details, that is your name, company name, email, and then the password. And then you click on start your free trial down here. Then you will fill in these details about your company. But of course, you can skip some of these questions. And then once you complete the survey, you simply click on done. Take me to my account. And it will bring you to this Harvest homepage. So you notice at the top here, we have the big plus sign that shows you to track time. And then up here, we have expenses. We have projects. We have team, reports, and invoices, and all this. And then down here, you can track work per day, or you can track time per day, or you can click on week so that you can also track time per week. You can also click on teammates so that you're able now to look at your teammates here. Let me show you how to create a project. Then we can start tracking time for that. You simply come at the top here, click on projects, and then here you click on new project. So you notice here we already have example project, which is a default project that is automatically added to your harvest. So to add a new one, you click on new project, and then you give the details, choose the client. In this case, you can look for the client there, or you can create a new client there. So in this case, let's just create a new client. So we can call this client Sylvia. And then the project name, we call it YouTube videos. And then the project code, if we have any code, maybe I'll call it 001. And then start date, you can click the start date. We click starts today and ends at the end of the week, Friday 14th. And then you have notes here, which are... Uh, optional so i'll simply still call it sylvia videos so you can put the notes there that can help you remember maybe the details that you want about your project and then down here you can uh, adjust your permissions you can show report project to admin and people who manage the project or you can show project report to everyone in this project so i'll click on show to everyone and then the project type you can select in terms of time and materials the fixed fee or non billable so time and material, you can select that, then you can select the rates down here. If you click on fixed fee, again, you can select the amount here. If you click on non-billable, you notice for non-billable, you can only track hours without putting the amount. So let us just create one for a fixed fee. I'll click on fixed fee and then put the amount there. I'll put it 1000. Set a budget to track project progress. So total project hours. You can set the hours there, total project hours, or maybe hours per task or hours per person. You can set whichever you want here. So I'll just set it as project hours. And then I'll put the project hours to be 30 hours. And then I can reset the budget every month. Or I can send email alerts if, if the project exceeds a certain percentage. If I click on that, you notice now I can adjust this percentage here. Then down here, I can now choose the tasks that will be under my project there. Maybe there is business development, design, marketing, whichever task that will be there. So in this case, I'll just 
remove these tasks. Then I can add my own, just one task. I'll just call it editing. And then I'll click on save project. So here under Teams, you notice it has been assigned to me, Joe Match, because I have not added other people. If I need to add other people to this project, I'll click on invite them to harvest down here. Then I'll put their details. So after that, I click on save project. The project is being saved. So you now notice our YouTube videos called 001 for Sylvia here has been saved. So this is now our project. You notice all the details we put here, the uninvoiced amount, the budget remaining, that is 30 total budget and all this. So that is the, those are the details of my project. Now, if I want to track time, I'll, I'll click here on track time. Then now I'll give the project name here. So if I click down here, you notice we have the project for Sylvia for YouTube videos that you have just created. So I can just click on that. Then the design, I can now choose one for the billable. I'll take the marketing, then optional notes. I can just add the notes there. And then I can now click on start timer. So if I click on start timer, it will start counting here. But another thing I can do is I can simply put the time there, maybe two hours. So that once the two hours elapse, then the timer just stops. I can also pull in a calendar event. If there's an event that I have from the calendar that maybe is not part of the project task, I just pull it in. I just pull in a calendar event. So in this case, I just want to track timing. So I click on start timer. And now you notice here, our timer is now rotating and tells us the time started at 8.04. And this one counts in terms of hours and minutes. So once one minute elapses, then this will now change to 0 0.001. That is how you track time. So I'll continue with the rest, then I'll be coming to check this timer. Then you can also add your team by simply adding people to your team. So in this case, you click on that, then you click up here on invite person. If now you click on invite person, you can add the first name, last name, work email, and then the type, if it's an employee or a contractor, then once you add those details, you click down here on invite and continue. If you now come to reports, you are able now to get all your reports in one place, and you can set this report in terms of here, semi-month, month, quarterly, yearly, or even all of them, or you can set it custom, maybe Monday to Wednesday, this is where you do the setting. So currently, we, are, we have no hours recorded for this time period. Then for invoices, this is where you create new invoices. You click on invoice. Then down here, you click on create new invoice. Then you can choose the client here. So I'll just click on the drop down arrow. And since we had added Sylvia as a client, I select Sylvia. If I want to just add a new client, I click on new client. So I can create an invoice for track time, expenses or fixed fees, or I can create a free form invoice. In this case, because we don't have any track time yet, I'm going to click on create a free form invoice. I click on that, then I click on next step. Then I'll fill the details here, invoice ID, PO number, issue date. The invoice here is already filled, that's for Sylvia. I can now put the prices here and uh, due date, subject. I can put the subject there and type the details that I want there, then I can come down here and give the description for the invoice. Service type, now we selected maybe it's a service or it's a product, whatever it is, I select there. Then I give the description there, maybe it's editing the videos for YouTube. Then I put the amount there, maybe it's $40 at this time. And then I can add another thing, reviewing the videos, the amount. And then the total here, if now I just put another thing here, service, and then maybe I call this one revision, and then put here 10. Notice now down here, our total and subtotal keeps on adding itself automatically. And then I can add the optional notes here, then I click on save invoice. And uh, there we have it, our invoice one has been saved. But we can still edit this. If we click on edit invoice, we are now able to still edit this and maybe call it Sylvia's invoice. And then I can click on update invoice. So this is something you can keep on doing until you are satisfied with your invoice. 
you now notice our invoice to Sylvia has been updated. The amount is here and then the breakdown is here. That is how you use harvest time tracking. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.